All right, all right, all right. What's going on? My individual expressions of God on earth as this party started. They want to do the second introduction to the new uh, pay-per-view series that we'll be popping off on, I think it's at Tuesday, August 26th. And we want to get into understanding how this personal manifestation frequency signature works by looking at the three components that each have three components to give you the understanding of how we have to marry or merge cosmetic theology and biology, spirit, soul, and body, mind, emotion, and physicality, along with the frequencies of 432, 528, and 345. So I know that sounds like a lot of information, but really it's not. It's this ability to wrap your brain around the fact that each and every one of us, we have a biological set point. That just simply means that we, we, we react to situations when we are under stress differently than we react to situations when we're not. And so the goal is not to necessarily try to change it. We have to get into being able to recognize it. It is this ability or inability to recognize our biological set point, our spiritual manipulation point. So there's a point that we stop manipulating, controlling, managing subatomic particles because we are no longer operating with our large language model. The same way AI works, it's the same way that you and I work. So what they did was they reverse engineered the brain to establish this thing that we call artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence is just reverse engineered thought or thinking or the way by which we operate, the way we think, the way we process information. Because everybody processes information according to the way that their energy becomes relevant as the situation or the event expresses itself. That means that it's not relevant until it affects you. So your energy isn't activated until something is relevant. That could be positively relevant or negatively re relevant. That simply means that you notice it. So manifesting is this mental, emotional, and physical combination when all of the resonance or the resounding of each range of the frequencies. Because these three energetic structures constitute your signature. That's the way that you like, you know, if you were to like sign a check, well, your signature is just, nobody has the exact signature as you. Well, energy works the same way. We all have our own energetic signature. And our energy, that's the way that we sign our check. That's where we conduct business. That is the way that we operate in this dimension. And your job is to under over understand and make that recognizable to the point that it becomes all consuming. It must become perceivable. So we have to be able to become able to notice what we are now failing to notice in the area of spirit or mental in the area of soul or emotion, in the area of the body or the physical. So your job and my job is to be able to detect. We must become energy detectors, the ability to detect different waves of energy. To the degree that we are able to operate in this space where we can detect energy, we can literally pick up all of the energy. We become energy conscious. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be breaking down, okay, so this ability to become energy conscious, the ability to take my energy and become conscious by noticing how it changes when the situation changes. So when certain situations change, what happens to your energy? Well, your energy changes. So you must be able to detect that. So then when it changes, then just you just ask yourself, is that 
emotion something that I want more of. That's that's it. When you when you when you really nail it down and you ask yourself, okay, whether you are in a state of peace and joy or whether you're in a low vibrational state of guilt and shame, it's just okay. Is that a state that I want to maintain? Because that's not. Or that may be your natural state. When situations happen, you may automatically go to blaming yourself. Now, most of us don't, but some of us do. So when a situation happens, you automatically revert back to that frequency, that wave, that verb, and that, that vibration. That is your biological set point. That is your personal manifestation frequency signature. But that's the one that we call your negative habit pattern. So that's the one that we are removing. That's the one that we are replacing. That's the one that we are, you know, getting rid of. So the goal is to, okay, once you notice it, now you have to be able to process it. You have to be able to transcend it. We have to be able to go within so that way you can transcend. And that's that's your perceivable characteristics that create your reality, whether those perceivable characteristics are known or unknown is the whole point of this particular class. That's the whole reason because it's not um, possible even once it becomes noticeable, just like telling an alcoholic he's an alcoholic. He probably already knows it, maybe in denial. Most say that they're not. That just simply means that they're not in a space where they are able to perceive their reality. So your what's your perceivable characteristics that creates your reality? It doesn't manifest until you are in a space of adversity. Once you go to that place where adversity, what we call adversity, which is nothing but an event. The event is not good. The event is not bad. It's just usually unexpected. And it's usually not something that we want. It's not a desirable outcome. So what happens? That creates what we call a feeling. Most people try to get rid of the feeling. That's a big mistake. Because what you're doing is you just amplify the feeling. The point is to take the feeling and use the feeling. But very few people under over and understand that process of taking the feeling. Whatever it is, it could be good feeling, it could be a bad feeling. It's still a feeling that was activated by some person, place, or thing other than yourself. You didn't sign up for that program. But that program is having an effect on you. Now that that program is having this effect on you, now the ball is in your court. So what happens when... That program that somebody else is ordering or some other place or some other thing is affecting you on a cosmological, a theological, or a biological level. So we're going to break all that down. Or it's affecting you on a spiritual, on a soul, or a body. Or it may be affecting you in your mind. It may be affecting you in your emotions. It may be affecting you in your physical body. It could be a physical disease. That means it's affecting a frequency. Cosmologically, 432 is 9. You do the math, 4 plus 3 plus 2 is 9. It may be affecting you in that frequency. So we're going to break that down. During this series, we're going to break down what I call theology, which is the soul. The soul, which is the mind, will, emotion, imagination, and the intellect. Okay, that's 528. That's 6. Okay, it could be affecting you in that manner. And that's where a lot of people are. Or the biggest one is the biological realm, which is the body, which is physical. So there's a physical issue, disease wrong with your body. Something manifests in your body. That's three, four, eight. 
you remember the the movie with um um your boy that plays uh on the Matrix, uh Keanu, Keanu Reeves and the robot, he cloned himself, cloned his, own, his own family, cloned himself, and he had the robot's name was 345. 3 plus 4 is 7. And then we get, you know, then we add the 7 and 5 with the 12, and the 12 gives us the 3. So that's, look at the numbers, 432 is 9. 528 is 6. 345 is 3. What if you add those numbers up horizontally? So you take 432. The first number is 4. 528, the first number is 5. 345, the first number is 3. That's what you got that picture, that image. That's the number 3. So unless that harmony, you cannot manifest with your personal manifestation frequency signature. The same way if, you, if I give you a check and you endorse that check, you cannot cash the check until you endorse it, until you sign it. What if you try to sign my check where well, the bank if it's smart it ain't gonna cash it. They're gonna see that you are forging my signature. So you go to manifest and the universe only recognizes frequency because everything's frequency. Everything's a wave, everything's a vibration. So God only recognizes energy. Three. And then to the degree that you're able to frequently visit Look at the word frequency. It means frequent. Frequency means frequent. The more time you feel the energy, three, you get the sixth frequency. That increases the nine, the vibration. Generate, operate, direct, G-O-D. G-O-D is 369. 369 is how you shine. 369, that's your gun. That's your God, your universe, and your nature. That's what's come natural to you. God is G. Universe is you. Natural nature is the end, G-U-N. And so during this series, this is the deepest that I've, I will be going during this series and what I've written inside of this book. It's expensive because this information is life changing. You should ask yourself one question. And that is, Doc, especially most of you guys, this is not your first show. It's not your first book, class, course. You should ask yourself one reason. I mean, one question. That is, the information that I've heard before, how come it hasn't changed my life? How come it hasn't implemented? How come I haven't? Why am I still in Groundhog Day? Why am I, why is there still this, let's use the word, struggle? Like I got to tell you guys, uh, doing intro number one. My, my, me personally, my income has dropped 75%. But I tell you guys, there's a government program that would do something that I've never heard of, never seen, I didn't believe it was true. So I talked to some lawyers, and then they was going to charge me, I was telling you guys, five grand to do it. I called the VA, file out, the VA do it for free. I have never seen this. I don't, I, it's like I'm still, I, I'm still wrapping my brain around it. Man, I've been telling y'all this for 30 years. There's always a ram in the bush. Always. I've never seen a righteous forsaken or the seed begging bread. No weapon formed against you can prosper unless you form the weapon. Notice the weapon formed. No weapon formed. Met them a foul. That means that your thoughts is forming every weapon. So in this series, it's going to be rough because i got to show you that you the problem. There, there's nothing outside of you that's happening to you. It can't. It violates universal spiritual law, which simply means that the universe is a mirror. Tesla was the great, one of the greatest minds, and Tesla said the same thing that I'm saying. If you want to know the secrets to the universe, you got to think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. So you should ask yourself, okay, Doc, well, you the, you the guru. Since thoughts become reality, how come you're in the situation that you're in, just like you? When nobody who has money is looking for money, nobody who has a wife is looking for one, usually. Nobody who has a man is looking for a man, usually. 
Nobody that's in tip top, you know, beach body shape is trying to get into tip top beach body shape. Nobody's trying to get what they already got. So what happens? You take your foot off the gas. See, the, the, the disposition that got me into this house, car, money, everything, I don't got that same disposition. So when I dropped 30 pounds in 30 days, which I've done at least 100 times, the disposition that I have to drop the 30 ain't the same that I got right now. Why? Because I ain't trying to drop 30. So if Kobe Bryant, he has a totally different mindset when it's the fourth quarter and they down by 30 points than he do at the first quarter when the game is even. The energy, the focus, the discipline, the order, totally different. Catch Michael Jordan in the first quarter, then catch Michael Jordan in the fourth quarter when the game is on the line. That's why Kobe was called a black mamba. He was ruthless. But then you catch him off the court. Look at the uh, uh, Venus and uh, Serena Williams. They were ruthless on the tennis court. When you see them out in public, they just, you know, regular person. Like Beyonce said, when she takes the stage, it's, she's Sasha Fierce, whatever the fuck that is. But it's, it's no different. Language is a frequency. It's a wave. It's a vibration. It's a sound. It's a word. It's a letter. It's a number. They are, those are all same. So God doesn't have a gender. The universe doesn't have a gender. It doesn't have a race. It doesn't have a language. It only has a feeling, what we call a feeling. And so we have to read, we have to go deeper because all of this stuff you already know. So now the question is, when the shit is the fan and you go back to what you know, what if that don't work? So when I do my 30 pounds in 30 days, first thing I do is I cut all the carbs and I cut all my sugar and I start working out in the morning and I start working out in the, in the evening. I do two days. Why? Because I know I've got to burn more calories than I consume. And then I ask, then, then what happens? Well, my body knows that too, so my body plateaus. So now nothing happens. I don't lose no weight. So my body sets aside the calories because it already knows what I'm going to do. So what I got to do? So I think I tell you guys, I must become authentically authentic. I got to listen to my gut and my spirit. And my gut and my spirit say, yo, dog, change the shit up. You can't show up. You got to change. You're still doing the same. You're still going in the same destination, but the steps are different. Instead of running fast, then you run slow. So I, instead of doing cardio in the morning, I do it in the evening. Instead of doing sprints, I I walk up up here, or I go get a stair climber, or I use a lifting machine. It must be instinctual. So we got to go inside. This is called inner physics. So you got to learn how to trust yourself more than you trust anyone else. Once you do that, what happens is now you activate the three levels of what we call money. Because remember, money is a frequency. It's a way for this currency. It's a medium of exchange. So I am money. So are you. We are all, so we are all money. So that means that there's only one verse that money flows. And what we say, we, this is the universe. The word uni means one. Verse, we, we broke this down already, it means a phrase. Now, I call it your manifestation song. Or I call it your manifestation chant. Remember, we broke that down when we did the manifestation school. When we did the manifestation class. Everybody has a manifestation chant. Is your own song. That's what's called the law of equivalence. So we've got to go back. We've got to break down the foundation for all manifestation, which is your inner dialogue. But we've got to cultivate. So when things hit the fan, worst case scenario, you have to have a transformative narrative. So that's what I did when I got the call that my youngest daughter had transitioned. I learned it because I didn't have it when my mom transitioned when I was 13, or really 11. So what did I do? Well, when I was cute, walking the streets of Richmond, I tried to commit suicide three times. All three times, I was by myself. Nobody was around. All three times, it failed, and 
I was just left there, just sitting there crying on the side of the road. Then Jesus didn't come. My mama, she was already gone. My dad, he, he was busy doing his thing. Nobody came in. Nobody came to save me. So I had to figure it the fuck out. You see, brothers and sisters, where you are at right now, it doesn't really matter. Only thing that matters is where you're going. What is the transformative narrative that you're telling yourself? Right now, the narrative you're telling yourself is not transformative. Right now, the song, how do I know? Because you, you don't got the mama mentality. You don't have, I wish a nickel would, this position. You're not willing to put on your ski mask and crawl through somebody's black backyard. You're not willing to hit a nigga on the head with a fucking baseball bat. Not yet. Now, I know for y'all Christians, that, that, that's a little dark. But, man, y'all, you need, y'all, y'all, we got to wake up. You're you, not enough intensity. Me, too. That's why I'm doing the class. See, when you understand that, okay, when, the, when, when it's the darkest or the worst thing that can happen to you, after it happens, what do you do? See, thoughts become reality. You see, many times in my life, I don't know about you. I've experienced some very, very challenging obstacles. And for a long time, I struggled. I did not, I did not know how to figure out how the universe works. I spent 30 plus years in the self-help movement. Y'all already know about all my religious nut job days and I was a preacher and I did all that religious shit. And my life got worse. I've been through all types of negative habit patterns from the by example. For example. So no matter what the event, no matter what the condition, no matter what the circumstances, no matter what the experiences that you're having right now. Those things are going to stay or they're going to go based up on what you do next. So what we all have to do is we have to understand the process. What process? The process that all of the greats, especially Tesla, they all said the same thing. This is a holographic universe, which simply means this is a frequency, which simply means that it's a vibration, which simply means that the universe is the result of thought. This is like a thought experience. This is a thought matrix. So once again, if you could find the secrets of thought, if you could find the secret to the one verse, which Genesis 1-3 tells us. So God gave us the secret of all secrets, which again, we got to break down. It's like what I shared with everybody today about the guy found, uh, the black doctor found dead after the same thing I told you guys when I did the um, autophagy class, the exact same thing that I told you guys about the benefits of prayer and fasting called Centurion Science by Dr. David Sinclair. He's a white guy. He's still alive. This black dude figured out how to lengthen your telomeres on your DNA by 200%. That means in English you would live, whatever the math is, for 200, whatever the average age add, not 200 years, but 200%. It would increase your lifespan by 200%. He was all excited. The next day, he was dead. And uh, Dr. Chris Chapman, I, I've seen you, have, and I posted it all on Facebook. As it's still up there, they may have took it down already. Oh, well, how come? That same thing I said, what, 10 years ago? That's also in the Bible. I, when I told you guys why I don't do, remember Hebrews? Remember, this is all part of what we're going to be talking about during the series. So Hebrews 6 tells us, 6 1, it tells us, let us go on to perfection. That word perfection in the Greek means teleos. Teleos in English is telomeres. Telomeres is the only reason that you 
die, it's like a telomeres unravel. They stop, for some reason or other, that you are programmed to die. You're not designed to die. And I did the class already on what they're doing in Silicon Valley. They're spending billions of dollars using cryogenics to try to do what I've done naturally, what I put inside of my book. Theo nutrition, Theo neuro theology and nutrition. And also my book, Reverse Asian. And also my book on flavor. And also my entire book I did on called, again, um, the Bible side of theocentric nutrition. What does that mean? That means like there's something called um, specifically magnesium, selenium, and B17 that's only found on like B17 is only found in, in the like Epcot nuts. That's why I finally got my, my wife into uh, selling the elderberry juice along with moringa, along with selenium, along with what they call uh, uh, Tonga Ali, along with what they call power, K, uh, I'm sorry, K, C-A-C-A-O, all organic. How come? It contains all 102 minerals and enzymes. Because all of that is part of because if you're suffering from brain fog, what happens when you hit a negative habit pattern? You can't think. We already talked about that. Everybody knows what to think, but very few people that I've encountered, they don't know how to use critical thinking. They don't have no critical thinking skills, which means if you keep doing the same shit, you keep getting the same result. So, why would we keep doing the same thing if we keep getting the same result? So critical thinking skills simply means you just sit down and just ask yourself a question. Now, sure, take your time. If you're not ready. But you got to say, okay, how come you're not ready? So that, that's a reason why we do everything, brothers and sisters. Nothing in your life is happening by accident. So in this class, I'm going to recommend you guys what I do. That shit happens to me. I don't try to change it. I don't try to change my feelings. I, my feelings are valid for that time. So are yours. Now, I do regulate how long I stay in that feeling, but I reverse engineer. I, I reverse manufacture thought, word, deed. I reverse engineer because that's what they did with artificial intelligence. What does that mean? That means when something bad happens to you, you lose your ability to manipulate subatomic particles, to mold your reality with your mentality. That's called an LLM agent. Now there is, I'll be sharing during the class, with the class we just finished, what we talked about, which everybody that finished that took the class, now you know that there is a grid called the firmament over the planet. There is also a grid called a negative habit pattern over your brain. There's also a disease called the American Cognitive Psychological Syndrome. You can Google it. It's a new disease that only Americans have. Because we're the only ones that can pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Then we take a deep breath. And to the republic, and we think a democracy and a republic are the same. I ain't met nobody yet that can tell me the difference between a, a democracy and a republic. So nobody, nobody knows what the fuck Donald Trump is talking about. Ain't nobody knew what Kennedy was talking about. Ain't nobody knew what Lincoln was talking about. Anybody that comes talking about a republic, that you live in a better casket. They usually end up in a pine box because this is a democracy. This is communist. This is socialism. That's why the immigrants are coming over here right now. And like Super Saiyan Power was telling me, she lives in Colorado. Y'all heard about what's going on in Aurora, Colorado? Well, they took over, supposedly, some apartments over there. All the immigrants are getting $1,500 a month in food stamps per person. Two grand a month per person for the government. How much money are you get just for being an American citizen? That's, that's a democracy. The democracy 
immigrants get treated better than the citizens. But you can't tell nobody. Everybody's just like, come on out, come on out. Which ain't nothing. Hey. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It was just like, oh, like, I said the same thing when Obama was in office. None of them do nothing for me. Either side, but what's the point? That's, that's critical thinking. See, critical thinking means you take your emotion out of it. And you activate your own personal manifestation frequency signature. So now the LLM agents, LLM simply means large language model. So a computer works by they take a, a bunch of data, large language, and the computer makes a model. So I can make my own. I can I can make my own chat box. Which I thought about it, and I talked to some guys, and you know, I'm not willing to drop 100k just to create my own chat GPT. But do you know what the CEO of Google just said? He just said, "Stick around." They also they just came out with something called context windows. Now, a little bit off topic, but I'm sure you understand because this is where you are. This remember, they are just reverse engineering your brain. So artificial intelligence is reverse engineered personal manifestation and frequency signature. That's why we all struggle. Man, these good old boys, the Ark, when we talked about the Ark of Baal, when the last series we did, so now we all know the God of this world, the Cosmograto, that like the Bible says. So now we understand the problem. This series is about the solution. Remember, because of the depth of information that I'll be sharing during this series, it is very dangerous to your, according to the AMA, the American uh, Medical Association and American Psychiatric Association, if you expose a person's brain, like in the matrix, what happens is you, your brain will literally short circuit. It simply means that you're going to be faced with some very tough choices and tough decisions. Because when your wetware overrides or combines with your software, it creates new Let's use the word firing with your neurons. It brings about identity shift. They call it identity shifting. You will now structure your brain. The white matter in your brain is literally going to be restructured. Now, the old habit pattern is still there lying dormant. So you will be constantly be, you will constantly be told. Instead of constantly telling. Your brain will shift from looking to being. After this class, you won't, you, you, you won't, you won't need no more classes. You won't need no more books. You won't need no master of surgery. You won't need no reverence, no doctors, no bishops. This will be the last class that you'll ever need. Because your hydrogel, your hydrogen atom molecule will go from a unstable molecule to a stable one. Because we're dealing with the smallest unit of measure when they talk about this from a neurobiological perspective. Right now, you have to constantly be told. Like we are all on the Internet. We're all watching YouTube videos. We're all searching. We are all constantly being entertained. You have to – the dominant culture program you to constantly be told what to do. Constantly. And we don't even know it. So now you become what I call the conscious driver. Remember, as we said in the previous show, being a human being is a problem. It's not a solution. 
The fact that you are human, that's the problem. But we gotta, we gotta, we gotta break it down. And we broke it down a little bit in the last series where we talked about, again, how the angels came down, 200, and they interjected their DNA into ours. And they gave us an upgrade, but they also cut off chromosome 2, which is the doctor I was telling you guys about, that the black guy who's no longer on the planet, Dr. Chris Chapman, he figured out how to reconnect chromosome 2, which means it increased your lifespan by 200%. That's doable today. You could live, I don't know what 200%. Times, you know, 75, like the average age is 75, they say. All I know it's a lot longer than what you've been, you know, we're talking, you know, you'd be on this planet for like two or three hundred years. Just like in the Old Testament. Now, that's provable science. If anybody wants some, I can see the, now I post shit on Facebook already. Just go to my Facebook page and read the article and watch the video. They did it. Now, I was talking with my sister's daughter. You guys know she's a, she's a doctor. Her degrees in neuroscience. She's at the University of Wisconsin. She was just telling me what she's going through. They're in a lawsuit right now. This is why I'm going to put a business out of the street. Long story short, she was doing, they doing the exact same research after I shared the information with her about 10 years ago when she was going through med school. All that shit's in my Theo City Nutrition class. All y'all went to the same stuff. David Sinclair is talking about it. But you have to have the ability to think, though. That's what this class does. This is the last class. If you take this class, this is the last class you will ever need. Then you'll be like my, like, um, you know, Alonica, uh, Sister Sakia, and uh, like Sister Candace, Sister Carlette. You'll be like, shit, I'm out, Doc. Peace. Now, you will no longer need to be taught. Right now, you have to constantly be told instead of constantly telling. You know, you guys know I'm always talking. I'm not, no, I'm not part of, I ain't been, man, when was the last time I've been a part of somebody else's program? Shit, I can't think of when the last time I was a part of somebody else's program. I mean, it's been a good 10 or 15 years. How come? So let me tell you something I probably shouldn't tell you and, and tell you. Now, remember, this is a, uh, this is a thousand dollar class. Like I tell everybody, I kind of hope you don't have the money so that way you can manifest the money. I remember I say this in all, every class. The same way I manifest money. But I don't have money. I know what money is. So money, it's a feeling. It's a wave. It's a vibration that you don't attract. That's a lie. It's not a lie, but that's a lower level law. Let me, rephrase, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. Because there are no lies. Everything is a truth based upon your belief. So the law of attraction works, but it's a lower level law. You like the law of like karma, sowing and reaping. That, that's a lower level law. It works if you're on that level. But what I'm talking about is what Tesla said. What I said at the beginning of the class, and it's, remember, I have the mathematics, I have the math to, to prove it. We didn't really get that deep into the math in the last class. We're going to jump into it just a little bit. Remember, it's called sex uh, gizmo, the power of 360. That's why you got 365 days in a year, not 360. Now, you can Google sex uh, gizmo. Now, I'm just going to touch on it because the inability to recognize the frequency that you are emitting, that's all your problems. All your problems go away the moment that you recognize the frequency you are emitting. Meaning, I get a call, my oldest daughter, I'm thinking about it because, you know, whatever your worst case scenario, think about it. I went through, I went through mine already. I don't know if it gets any darker than that. So what feeling was I emitting after I got that call from my oldest daughter saying that my baby, my youngest daughter, was dead? 
I can tell you it wasn't love, joy, peace, gentleness, meekness, or self-control. It wasn't the it wasn't the nine ether. Now remember we said four thirty two is nine. Do the math. Four plus three plus two is nine. So what is four thirty two? That's cosmology. But that means I wasn't there. So then I dropped down the theology. Now that is you create what you say. Thoughts become your reality. So I dropped down to my soul. I wasn't in the spirit realm. I dropped down to the soul. That's the emotional realm. That's the mind, will, emotion, imagination, intellect. That's 528. 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 8, 16, I mean uh, 6. 13 and uh, then you add together 6. Where are the math? It's 528. We add together, it comes up to number 6. And I wasn't there either. So I dropped down to the biology realm. Body, physical. That's 345. I can do the math on that one. Because 3 and 4 is 7. 7 and 5 is 13. Or 12. And then 1 and 2 is 3. So notice the numbers, though. 432, 9. 528, 6. 345, 3. But do the math horizontally. That's how you get out. So you don't change the frequency. You merge and you match. So there's, we have that. We don't attract nothing. We don't create nothing. We merge with everything. We match Frequency matches. So the key to understanding how your own vibrational frequency works at any given moment is to understand how you're feeling at any given moment. Because that determines what you perceive. You can only perceive on the level of your feelings. And since your feelings change, your reality changes. So until your feelings, so you need to place where you control your feelings, you can't control the feel. And the feel creates what's real. That's why your money goes up and down. That's why health, that's why everything goes up and down. Relationship, one day, you know, y'all in love. The next day, y'all get the fuck out. How come? Feelings. But what causes your feelings to change? An event. You can't change events, though. You can only change feelings. You can't. I mean, I don't know. They say you can, but I, I ain't, you know. Unless you know some Native Americans that can go out there and do the rain dance, they go, you can't control the rain. You can't make it start, you can't make it stop. Unless you got heart technology, the government, blah, blah, blah. What's the point? So what do you do? Well, it rains on your, you got your whole picnic set up, and so what? You pissed off. So you drop from being spirit, thing, you drop all the way down to 345, the lowest level. That means everything is dense. Dense means it's like solid. So you are an ice cube. So now you got to heat it up and become liquid, water, you got to heat it up again to become steam. The platonic solids. And the only way you heat up, how do I heat you up? If you're black, how do I heat you up? How do I heat you up? Call you the N-word. Talk about your mama. If you're talking, I get you angry. But that's the wrong type of heat. But another type of heat is what we call passion, love, you know, sex gizmo. That is the power of three, six, zero. But they gave us three six five, so the math is off. So you're not our power, you're not our presence, you're not our simple, you're not our love. So we got to redo the math. So we got to change the speed of your vibration. So you can go up and down from solid, liquid to gas. But guess what? Only high resonant beings are able to operate in exceptional mental clarity. Let me say that again for the Negroes in the back. Only high resonant that means frequency waves and vibrations. Only three, six, nine beings have exceptional mental clarity. What does that mean in English? That means that we all, destiny means destiny. Destiny is predetermined. Destination is self-determined. So you self-determine whether you take the slow road or whether you take the fast road. But where you're going is already predetermined. It's in your DNA. You have no choice. You either get there or you just, you know, don't do what Jesus did when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. When he says, man, I ain't doing this. Take this cup. Take this cup from me. Then I guess he had a second thought. Maybe somebody slapped him in the head with a spiritual two-by-four. But he's like, you know what? Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Nevertheless. Not my will. W H E E L. 
but yours be done. So you have a will too. That circle I gave you is 360 degrees. It activates what is called six six sigma. Any any business architects? Anybody I don't know what six sigma is? Or we're gonna break that down too. Multidimensional higher frequencies is the only way to look down into a lower frequency. Three cannot look up and see nine, but nine can look down and see three. So your job is to choose ye this day. That's why I always choose a higher frequency. So to match Negro, you must merge. So you can't attract a million dollars. It doesn't work. But everybody's teaching that. Everybody tell you, oh, yeah, you know, you can... You know, you can just imagine it. You hold it in your head. No, you can't attract a million dollars. Bro. You cannot create a product, service, or information that's going to make you a million dollars. I tried that too. You got to got to share on the wall. Nothing happens. But you can match a million dollars that's already – you can't make it. It already exists. Everything is already created. So during this class, we will teach you the properties to clearly match, a.k.a. align, with it from a cosmological, theological, biological, spirit, soul, body, mind, emotion, physical, 432, 528, 345, 9, 6, 3, or if you reverse engineer, 396. Plus four, plus five, plus three, equals twelve, which equals three. So I'm picking the four thirty two, the five twenty eight, and the three forty five, and I'm adding it across and I'm adding it down. So whether you're going up or whether you're going horizontal, remember, lines or limits, horizontal. But vertical. If you're going vertical, that's creative. So we don't want limits, we want creative. So how what do we do? We merge. So when you merge, you can manifest. The key is to merge what already exists. So we're going to break down the 360 degrees that's inside of a circle that's called sex agismo mad, because I got that from the one of the oldest or the oldest, based on all the text I can find, which is from the ancient Atlanteans and it's married, the, the uh, Sumner. So they used it and they gave it to the Babylon, the Babylonians. There's six triangles inside of a kirka. It's called base 10 mathematics. The Masons use it. They understand the function of 60. So why? 60 degrees is in an arc. That's the old 10 power stuff that he's talking about, the flower of life, which means what? The arc is a vector equilibrium. That's just a fancy way of talking about the function of 12 times 5, which is called the law of 12. That is the metaphysics of creation. This is the math of the procession of the equinox. If you – now, again, you get got to understand the math of it. You have to understand the implementation of it. This is where knowledge and technology came from. Because YHVH is what we call the name of God which creates C-H-O-N, carbon, oxygen, uh, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, which gives us A-G-C-T, which is the four amino acids that make up your DNA, which gives us fire, air, water, and earth. Now, all of that, yeah, I'm not really interested. Can't pay your light bill with that. The only way for you to pay your light bill is when you are at the bottom. How do you take free energy, dark, like evil? How do you transmute darkness into light? When you are, everybody know how to do it when you're on top of the mountain. But 
You stay in the dark until you learn how to see in the dark. Now, as we know, there's different levels of darkness. And as, I, as we also know, there's different levels of ignorance. And as we also know, ignorance is not a thing. Ignorance doesn't really exist. Ignorance is an abundance of mental occupation of black. Ignorance is the mental occupation of black. Let me say this again slow. Yeah, remember, remember we're gonna, and the class got to break down, okay? If I have an abundance of black, how do I make money? If I'm in a relationship and I got an abundance of black, what does that mean? That means I, I just notice what he's doing wrong or I notice what she's doing wrong. Man, Doc, I'm pissed off. He don't do, he don't do, or she don't do shit. So you, all you do is notice all the shit that they do wrong. So what do you do next? Because you have an abundance of lack. You have to notice. Failure to notice. Abundance is the causality of every problem on earth. What does that mean? You see, you clearly align with the properties of your design. The universe thinks in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration, period. It doesn't know anything else. But what does that mean? That means discernment, knowledge, and understanding. Now, Tesla hid that secret. And again, I shouldn't tell you this until, you know, yeah, yeah, I make that thousand dollar payment. But you know, I, I like y'all, so I'm gonna tell you anyway. Cause you're not gonna be able to use it unless you understand what I'm saying next. So what are you saying? Okay, you're in a relationship. Now I do this all the time with uh, with my wife because we are totally different people. But I know something that most people don't know. I understand why she does. Everything that she do. But I understand her numbers. I know that my interpretation determines my implementation. I know that very few at Kikilan know that. That's the only way our marriage works. Let me say that again. It's the only way I can make money. If I didn't know this, woo we? I've been in trouble, will be in trouble again. But I always get out. How do I always get out? Because I know cosmology means discernment, theology means knowledge, biology means understanding. I know discernment is nine. I know knowledge is six, and I know understanding is three. I know that I have to merge. I cannot attract that. So I cannot attract, but they told me I could. So I'm, I'm waiting. Like some of y'all are waiting for Jesus. You're trying to attract. So some of you guys are trying to attract a business opportunity. So you, you what? You, you're trying to become more attractive. I'm not saying that you should not. Remember, that's a lower level law. But what we're talking about is the highest level. We're talking about your own personal manifestation frequency signature. So you can sign any check in the spirit realm in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Energy, frequency, vibration, discernment, knowledge, and understanding. That means I can sign any check because I understand those three things, TOD, generate operating direct. Energy, frequency, vibration. If you don't understand, but now remember, I'm just telling you, doing a class, we got to implement it because now you get an interpretation. But you also need implement information because knowledge is free. Implementation is not. So what I'm saying right now, okay, this shit is free. I tell everybody this. How? Because as soon as you get off this call, whatever you're going through, it's, it's still there. It ain't going nowhere. And it's going to do what? Control your feelings. What you gonna do what? Control your field. What you gonna do what? Control how you feel. Which do what? Control what you manifest in your life. 
So we don't attract nothing. We don't create nothing. All we do is align with stuff. So the key to, is the understanding, okay, we perceive on the level on the level of our needs. You perceive on the level of your needs. I mean, you're preoccupied with the need. So ignorance is a preoccupation of what you need. And whatever you need, you can't have. Whatever you don't need, you can have as much as you want. That's it. That's I didn't make the rules, man. I'm just telling you. To him that has more shall be given. To him that has not, the little that he does have, take it and give it to the guy that got it. So how do you get rid of the feeling of need when you really need something? That's called semantics. That's called six six sigma. Sexagismal math. What's that mean? That simply means that now I have to unify my feelings with a higher vibrational state. But we can't. How come? Biology. There are people, physical people, there's physical places, and there's physical things that is occupying your brain. Whether it's occupying my brain. So from that place, I know life is a projected electrical magnetic illusion. But it's, it, it, that's, what, that's what an angel is. We are angels. An angel is nothing but light that is meant. That's all an angel is. An angel is an angle of light. So I got to transcend the lower angle of light with a higher angle of light. This gets into the nine angles or the nine layers of reality. So I got to ascend up the nine layers of reality. How? Awareness. Light exists inside of matter, but matter cannot exist inside of light. That means the shit that you think matters can't exist inside of light. You are concerned about your boo-boo. That's why you broke. Not you personally, but people who I know. Remember, your whatever matters to you can exist inside of you. Light can exist inside of whatever matters to you. That means God, the universe, source, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, the devil, the monkey, the squirrel, stone, bricks, rocks, whatever term that you want to use. The source don't recognize terms. You only recognize frequencies, waves, verbs, and vibrations. That's why this class is so damn. I tell you, this is the last class you will ever have to take. After this, you'd be like, Doc, man, I'm going to see you in the Bahamas, dog. Because now you will be able to quantum jump to the timeline where all of your dreams already exist. Now, unfortunately, you gonna. I mean, but you got to learn because when you first do it, you're gonna be doing like I did. You're gonna be timeline jumping, and you're gonna manifest what you want. And then when you get over there, you're gonna realize, oh shit, I didn't know. Cause there's no way you know till you get there. Like, you don't know what it's like to be with your dream girl till you be with your dream girl, and you realize that okay, she's everybody's dream. So, shit, you go get a line. So then you're like, well, I don't be one of ten. I want to be one of one. So then what do you do? Well, you got to quantum jump to another timeline. Now. Then you get over there and you find out. Um, so being, this is like, creates a whole other set of problems. There's a whole other set of problems, Brother Mitch. When you learn how manifestation works, you can manifest anything you want. But the problem is you can manifest anything you want. And we all are what? We should got flesh. So the problem is you might want to get your flesh in order first because they say money is an amplifier. If a problem exists, money doesn't do nothing but make that problem manifest bigger and faster. So if you drink, you got unlimited money, that means you got unlimited alcohol. You don't have an alcoholic. You just 
a matter of time. So whatever your problem is, oh, that probably going to get amplified. So before you take this class, you might want to make sure that you've checked out what problems you got. Or do what I do. Monetize your mother. Because guess what? Problems don't like to work for people. Problems like to take energy. They don't like to give you energy. Problems are energy vampires. That's what you can tell a problem. Situations are energy vampires. So when the situation can't suck your energy, Brother Mitch, what happens? It goes the feet away. Say it again. So when situations pop up in your life and says, boo, and you don't jump, you don't cry, you don't call old Jesus, you don't get on your knees, you don't beg, you don't plead, you're like, what the fuck you want? What happened to the problem? What happened to the situation? What happened to the boogeyman? See, shit only works if you got fear, bro. They need your fear. They feed. They, it's called, this is a loosh. Remember, this is a energy extraction matrix. Negro, I got to extract your energy. How? I got to give you a disease so you can get freaked the fuck out. Don't know what's going to happen and you just sit around scared. Oh, you get real religious then. Tell a Negro he got 30 days to live. See what happens. What? The Negro will be on church every Sunday. Front row. Reading his Bible and everything until he goes away. How come? Loosh. L-O-O-S-H. Can just go watch Monsters, Inc. Or just Google it. Remember I was telling you guys about a Latin's lamp? That's what this whole series is. A Latin's lamp. Go watch the cartoon. Now you still got to pay me $1,000 to take the class. Because you still not going to get it. How come? Well, a Latin, first of all, look at the name. And then he had the little monkey. Remember I, I talked about this before. He goes to the cave. The cave of wonders. The dude wouldn't let him in until he said his name. That's, look, remember, man is name. And they go, what's your name? So you got your own cave of, of wonders, and they only, if your name is Mitchell, they only answer, when you go to the cave of wonder and they ask, who's your name? Why did Jesus ask every demon, demon, what is your name? They couldn't do shit to the demon until the demon said his name. How come? The name determines the lane. Oh, I don't know if y'all ready for this. See, you got your own personal, bro. This shit is personal. It's private and it's productive. See, you ain't personalized this shit yet. You still general. You ain't authentic. You should go on Facebook and post something and everybody say, fuck you. Until then, you know, you're, 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 uh-uh. you're still trying to blend in. you still like, I mean, I ain't mad at you. Shit, we all go through it. We all want to be a part of the group, right, gay money? We all want to be a part of somebody's team. But it's not until you become authentic. Authentically authentic. Right, so that so that know what I'm talking about. It's not till you show up as your true authentic self. You ain't trans shit. You ain't you ain't trying to lighten your skin. You ain't got no fake allies. You ain't got fake nothing. Everything's authentic, bro. Original. Fresh out the fucking shower. Like it or move the fuck on. Until you get there, bro, your dog don't hunt. So funny. Because you are easily manipulatable. If you got feelings, because a situation is going to come up and you're going to catch a feeling. And then you're going to be carrying somebody else's luggage. You're going to be somebody else's D-I-T-C-H. No, everybody catch feelings. I catch feelings. And then I say, hold on, wait a minute. Do I want to stay in this feeling? Do I want to give that person control of my life? Nah. So the kid Walter is not happening to the kid Walter. So Emily, it's not going down like this, with Emily. I'm not giving, I'm not putting the keys to my happiness in some other Nicholas pocket. No disrespect to the other Nicholas out there. But I'm going to drive my own car. Thank you. I don't need a chauffeur. And that's a whole different disposition. Everybody else says, shit, what's going with the chauffeur, Doc? Nothing. Let somebody, I don't want no automated car. Like in that movie Upgrade, remember? Oh boy got in the car and, and you know, like they get, that's why, why y'all think y'all, y'all, you know, come along, y'all Democrats, why y'all think they're pushing all the digital stuff? No gasoline vehicles. Everybody, you know, but they say, oh, it's cause of the climate. Obviously these fools don't know shit about the 25,950. Every 25,950 is called a great year. 
It's the equinox. You can Google it. The earth wobbles and the energy, the earth heats up. Like the, the, the white lady said many, many years ago. That's why every commercial, that's why that they pay black men to go to Poland and knock up white women. Same thing in Japan. How do they know that? Because you ain't never been invited to a melanin office. They know that if you ain't got no melanin, your ass is not going to be on this planet. No, none of us is probably going to be around to see it. But uh, the, like the videos that Addy shared with me today, I said, matter of fact, so that if you can share that in the group. So, and again, this ain't no different. Nobody, this is just the way we just have to set the up. I mean, I, I, Brother George, did you set it up? Hey, hey, Brother George set it up. Y'all, everybody can blame Brother George. Okay, now it's playing. So Brother George didn't set the system up, so we can't get mad at Brother George. I didn't choose my race, not to my knowledge. So, so Emily, it's not my fault that I was born a short black man from Texas. I'm just going to maximize this month. I'm going I'm to ride it till the wheels fall off, though. Since melanin is in. I mean, so that's what I'm saying. You bloom where you plant it. So your personal, this is my personal manifestation frequency signature. And I gave it to everybody on this call. It's in your, that, that circle inside of your dick and report. We gotta pull that circle back out. That life optimization circle. Y'all know I've been saying this shit for 35 years. Everybody, but now, now, Brother Mitch, everybody gotta do it now, Brother Mitch. Because the economy, y'all think it's, ooh, we. Now remember the house? They will gonna have more. So, y'all might build, y'all might wanna get on the side of the house. Because to him that house, that's why, my bad. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but, you know, hey, I can't be no Democrat. I, I'm not for, you know, socialism. So sorry. I'm for what we call, what Jesus calls life. Now, I mean, no, no disrespect to y'all, but I'm just saying. See, ignorance is the abundance. But Negro is still in abundance. But it's abundance of noticing that's Jim Bob over there. He need help. So hold up. Let me get this right. Are you telling me Jim Bob, who is a fucking God, needs your help? How the hell God needs help from another God? Now, remember, God is a frequency. So let me get this right so that we're all on the same page. So you understand why if you don't get this from me, man, y'all need to get this from somebody quick because y'all, we run out of time. Because everybody's buying what Kamala and everybody, what they selling, both sides, really. They just pushing it. They just like, we're going to get that fast. Trump is like, eh, let's go that slow. Both sides, remember, two wings, same bird. Same for neither side. So don't even have little dog, you know, uh, I like your show, brother, but I can't believe you're talking politics. Man, come on, dog. Are you serious? Y'all know I don't vote. I ain't voted fucking 20 years. I'm wasting my time. I keep my own vote. It's to myself, homie. Thank you. So no, I'm not interested. I'm just expressing reality, which is what? You generate operating trade. You. Not Kamala. Not Trump. You. So you are all knowing. You are all powerful. You are all present. I mean, you exist in multiple places at the same time. Remember, this is, this is called quantum mechanics. You are all simple. There's all this complicated shit that, that requires you to have 14 PhDs. That shit's of the devil. And you are all benevolent. Omni means always, because it means always. So your personal manifestation frequency signature is omni. But well, we got a problem. I love my baby mama. I never let her go. Damn. That's, that's not be why you broke, bro. I mean, not you personally, but, you know, you know. So what are you saying, Doc? Say it again slower. So God only recognizes himself. Ooh. Damn. So, Daddy, that's a T-shirt right there, Daddy. I, I think that's a sale. God does not recognize anti-God. God... God only recognize God. That means if you're not all knowing, whatever's preventing you from all knowing, let that shit go. If you're not, when you wake up this morning, if you look in the mirror and say, 
Take a deep breath, nostril breath. You now get, get some nitrogen in your in your system. And if you didn't say I'm all power, now your brain is going to take. Remember, the brain says be safe. Your brain says, well, we don't want to like outshine everybody. We like Kamala and them. We for everybody. We want health care for everybody, including Jimmy, who just came over and and Jimmy got bad intentions. He didn't want to kill everybody. We will give you that health care too. Yes. And we for everybody should love who they want to love. Oh, so that sixty-five-year-old man who want to, you know, annually penetrate that fourteen-year-old boy. Everybody gets to choose who they love. Gay money. We, you know, we for everybody, dog. See, y'all better be, y'all better be the small print. That's how the enemy works, man. He gets y'all all lathered up with red, you know, with all of the colors and the rainbow and shit, and <laughs> man. Look at the gay flag and then look at the rainbow. They change it. But look at the scales of ascension. The seven, the nine levels we're going to be talking about. What if we reverse it? Remember, the enemy takes everything and turns it upside down. Just Google, you know, LGBTU, XYZ flag. Now, you guys know, most, most, I got shit, at least 10. Flaming. I'm sorry, my, my, one of my best friends named Craig, man. This dude, like, they like, yeah, 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 man, when you come up to the bath party, the bath house, or the, the what they call it, bath something, shit, I forgot. Anyway, they be doing some freaky stuff with Daddy. I'm like, man, man, come on, he keeps inviting me. This shit been going on for, I've known him for 20 years, back to my USA days. He keeps inviting me, I keep saying no. I ain't mad at him. Now, see, that's his job. He's trying to convert me. For the rich, for the rich, uh, it ain't working for the rich. Now, I ain't mad at him. I'm like, bro, man, hey, keep trying. So I have my own personal manifestation of the signature for the rich, and it ain't got nothing to do with grabbing the my ankles. So sorry. But he got another frequency, so everybody has the right to do what? Vibrate on their own level. But is that the vibration of the of God? Let me see. Is that all knowing? Mm, I don't know. All I know, if you got two balls and a cane, that means that down here they call her that male. Now, if you got two ovaries in a the lane, they call that female. So, if you got something in between that, you know, if you got, you know, there's an X, XX, and then there's XY. So, if you got XZ, you got XQ, or you got something else going on, okay. I mean, you got to work that out between you and source. But, to my knowledge, there's only male and female. There's only two genders, XX and XY. So which one you got? That that boxing lady that everybody they, they came. Oh, she's a she, she's a guy, and then she came out and said, "No, I'm a girl." And everybody said, "Yes." And then they did a little further, and she tried to become a professional boxer. They test her testosterone level, and guess what happened? She ain't no girl. Even though supposedly she like pulled on her pants and say. Ring, ring. But her bones, her pelvic, you can tell by your bones, a woman's pelvic bones is different because it's designed to give birth. Men don't give birth. So now these good old boys figure out a way that, as we already know, because of artificial intelligence, your eyes may deceive you, bro. You might want to get that DNA test. I'm just saying. Glad I'm not out there. So is God or you the five frequencies to establish your own personal manifestation frequency? Now, we're going to go through all 12 in your circle, and then we're going to establish the nine frequencies that are activated inside of those four main numbers that allow you to express, expose, and expand yourself based upon sex gizmo math that takes 360 degrees in a circle and uses what they call the power of 60 or the power of 666, then we transcend that signal. So that's the door. You walk through the door. 
but you don't use those. So the mistake that we all made is you are supposed to use the tool. You're not supposed to worship the tool. You're like Samson slew a thousand Philistines with a jawbone. The next verse said he threw the jawbone in the dirt. So your personal manifestation frequency signature, that's how you establish your discernment, your knowledge, and your understanding, which is your energy, your focus, and your vibration, how you access cosmology, theology, and biology, how you control your spirit, your soul, and your body, how you control your mind, your will, your emotions, your imagination, and your intellect, how you operate by combining 432, 528, and 345. That gives you 1305. Add them all up, and it comes out to what? One, three, seven, three, but I'm telling you anyway, one, three, zero, five. That's your personal purpose, because that's the purpose of God. But what does that mean? Because that gives us what? Now, remember, I put it in the text. This is extremely important. And, again, this will be the last class if you serious, because it's up to you. After this class, this will be the last class you ever have to take from from anybody. Because this class exposes and it takes you behind the curtain and you see the wizard. You're like in the Wizard of Oz. You go back there and you say, oh, shit. So you mean to tell me this is fucking illusion? I've been jumping through all of this hoops and all this stuff, and Jesus says, that in order for you to go to heaven, flesh and blood cannot enter into my kingdom. You have to be born of the spirit and of the water. Flesh, three, cannot enter my to heaven. Six and nine is the only way to get in. So whatever's on the 3D level, you can't take that into a high vibrational state. In order for you, and then Jesus says that you must be Born again. Born again means my conclusive. My express my conclusive, which means reincarnation. Which means everything, everywhere, recycles. We the only ones, the less Christians, because remember that's in the original text, but it's not inside of King James. Why did he kick that out? So you think being born again means, you know, an altar call. You don't know that being born again means energy cannot be created or destroyed. It just changes form. Even though it says that in the Bible, too. Corruption must put on incorruptibility. So your corruptibility must put on incorruptibility. Your mortal must put on immortality. Nico, do you know what immortality means? I mean, I'm from, I'm from Texas, and I know what it means. Immortality. Immortal. That's why our old boy that, dis- that discovered immortality, he dead now. I mean, it's not... I mean, I mean, his wife, kids, whatever, it's kind of messed up. And then I was talking to my, I was telling you guys, my niece, and she's in a lawsuit by some Caucasian guys. The company was started by African Americans. Obviously, she's my sister's daughter, she's black. They got a government grant to start their biotech company. Three Jewish guys are suing them because they brought 40% of the company. And they're saying, now remember, the only way the company can be in existence is if it's black-owned and operating. Which I don't even saw, so the, the judge should have threw the lawsuit out. But they're trying to take over as a hostile takeover. Why? They don't want this knowledge out. What is the knowledge? Sadly, I was telling you guys about DNA sequencing, DNA amplification, gene splicing, CRISPR-9, the jab. All of that affects your telomeres. Just like it says in the Bible in Hebrews 6 1, let us go on. I just figured out how to do it without having to go in and change my DNA because I can use my brain. So can you. That's what this class is about. That's why this will be the last class you're about to take. So it's a book, seven hour series. We start on, I think we said Tuesday or Wednesday. Wednesday, you guys know, man, I'm not, you know, we can do payment plans, whatever. The fastest way to manifest the money to take the class is just make up in your mind to align with your design. What does that mean? 
The money already exists. We all have unlimited money. Unlimited. So you should ask yourself the billion dollar questions that I tell myself every day I wake up. Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. Let me close with this because y'all know I'll, I'll be going until Jesus come back. So Emily, she should text me and, and told me that I've been talking for more than an hour. So it's y'all, it's just Emily's fault. She, she's supposed to call me and text me and let me know. She probably fell asleep. Wake up, sister Emily. Okay, I'm just y'all. So Genesis, let's knock this out. Chapter 1, verse 3. This is a secret sauce. And God said, said means think. She went through this, and well, we do it during the during the class. And God said, "Let there be light," and that was light. Then we keep going, and God saw the light, and it was good. That word "good," woo wee, that means abundance. So if you see anything and you don't see it as abundant, you ignorant. Not you personally. I mean, I, I mean, I like y'all. No, not not you, Jay Money. Not some of the mother, the mother Nichols. You know, not you. So let me get this right now, because you're going to get tested. So that's what came to my brain when my daughter transitioned. Remember, whatever you teach, <laughs> be careful what you profess, bro, because they don't throw your ass in hot pan. Remember, I, I said unlimited money, so what happened? My income dropped by 75%, y'all, 75%. I'm still at that, you know, living off 25% of what I normally used to bring in. It's just temporary, though, so daddy. It's just temporary. I'm just passing through. But I, I, I know the secret sauce. What's the secret sauce? We God. But that, 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 that word, again, as you guys know, is a little G. God and God. Say it. Now, that that word said, again, don't have time to break it down, but it means A M A R in the ancient text. It's a verb. Amar. It means a advised answer. So you guys remember what I said at, at the beginning of this class? Perceivable. Nothing doesn't matter if you cannot perceive abundance, if you can't see it. So when bad shit happens, stop, sit down, ask God. So this is supposed to benefit me? Like I spent, I, spent all, I, I lost my job, and you tell me that, you know, I found out that my, my dream boo-boo ain't my dream boo-boo. You know, my, you know, my, my car ain't stolen. So you, you're telling me that, you know, all things work together for my good? Come on, Brother Rich. Is that what you said? Is that what you said, Brother Rich? You got the name, Brother Rich. We're supposed to be rich, Brother Rich. We are rich. So we got to find the riches when we don't see them. So when it says God said, that means that God saw abundance. So when you say God said, it's really abundance talking. So from a space, Dr. Span, you listening? Dr. Span, from a place of abundance, Dr. Dr. Span, you say let there, that means to fall out or to come to pass. Let there be to fall down or come to pass light. Now, that word light, we, I ain't got no time for it, but that was out. It means feminine, morning, dawn. Feminine is feminine dawn or feminine broad, B-R-O-B-R, B-R-O-A-D, broad. That means a lot of feminine energy. Light. That's why they be demonizing y'all ladies. The dominant culture know ladies, y'all supposed to sit in the back shit, fuck up. You ain't supposed to be talking, you know, in church. Okay. Nope. I can't teach men, Dr. Pan. You know that. Stop playing. And God said, let there be. So abundant feminine energy. And that was abundant feminine energy. 
That's why feminine energy is the only energy that can give birth. Men, I don't know why men want to be women. Men, can you push out a baby through your pecker? I don't know why a man would, I mean, enough to the ladies, no disrespect. I don't know why a man would want to go to what I go through every 30 days. I'm still trying to figure it out. All these dudes walk around here twitching and stuff. Man, yeah. I got daughters. I've been married twice. And what y'all women go through, I mean, I have mad respect for what y'all do. I don't know how y'all do it similarly, but, man, uh, hey, mad respect. Why women have portals? The only way to enter into this, the only way to give first, the only way to manifest. So we got to break down cosmology. Theology and biology. Man, this guy's going to be off the chain. But we're going to go into the deep, deep details of, number one, how do you use your discernment? How do you develop? What is discernment? How do you develop it? Number two, you have discernment. Gives you the ability to know the ledge. We call it knowledge. And then number three, that gives you the ability to stand on top of, to overstand any issue. Knowledge. I mean, discernment, knowledge, and overstanding. Man, I love y'all. Remember this class is, you know, thousand dollars, two payments of five hundred, four payments of two fifty. Whatever we gotta do to make it happen, let's make it happen. And we'll see you guys on uh I think it's uh, I think we said either Monday or Wednesday. And we'll get it talking. God bless.